velocity time graph for various types of motion of a body we have to draw velocity time graph we have to draw velocity time graph for the different types of motion of a body or velocity time graph velocity time graph of various types of motion of a body various types of motion of a body motion of a body number 1 case the equation of velocity of a body moving with uniform acceleration the equation of velocity of a body velocity of a body moving with uh, the uniform acceleration or moving with the constant acceleration is given by is given by v equal u plus at is given by v equal u plus at where u is the initial velocity of the body u is the initial velocity of the body and a is the uniform acceleration therefore v can be written as at plus u v is equal to at plus u which is identical to the equation y equal to mx plus c uh, not with the uh, with the equation y square equal 4ax or x square plus y square equal a square or x square by a square plus y square by b square equal 1 so v equal at plus u will be identical to which equation equation of straight line or equation of parabola or equation of circle or equation of an ellipse v equal at plus u uh, is comparable to the equation of straight line that is is comparable to the equation y equal mx plus c that's why v hyphen t graph that means velocity time graph velocity time graph of a body moving with constant acceleration will be an oblique straight line will be an oblique straight line with respect to time axis at t equal 0 v is equal u at t equal 0 v equal u means the body starts its motion with certain initial velocity o is the origin uh, on the graph and velocity will be plotted uh, along vertical axis velocity is plotted along vertical axis and time is plotted along horizontal axis time t is plotted along the horizontal axis and now we can draw the velocity time graph now we can draw the velocity time graph this oblique straight line is a velocity time graph of a body moving with uniform acceleration and with some initial velocity the oblique straight line the oblique straight line ab the st oblique straight line ab represents the velocity time graph represents the velocity time graph of a body represents the velocity time graph of a body starting its motion with some initial velocity and with uniform acceleration the oblique straight line ab represents the velocity time graph that is vt graph of a body moving with uniform acceleration moving with uniform acceleration and with certain amount of initial velocity and its initial velocity is not zero and its initial velocity is not zero its initial velocity is not zero this oblique straight line ab is the vt graph this oblique straight line v, uh, ab is the vt graph of a body moving uh, with certain uniform acceleration and uh, starting its motion with some initial velocity with some initial velocity at t equal 0 that is at uh, the point o the initial velocity will be u or velocity of the body will be u that means at the origin o that means at t equal 0 initial velocity is u such that uh, on the graph u is equal to oa 
from the point b we can draw a perpendicular bn from the point b we can draw a perpendicular bn on the positive time axis bn is a perpendicular which is drawn from the point b of uh, vt graph on the positive time axis on the positive time axis ac is a, a straight line ac is a straight line uh, straight line is drawn from the point a parallel to time axis parallel to time axis and the length of the straight line o n is t where small t is the interval of time in which velocity of the body increases from u to v velocity of the body increases from u to v on the graph c n on the graph c n is also equal to u because c n is the opposite side of the parallelogram o n c a and here o a is equal to c n that's why c n is equal to u which is the initial velocity b n is equal to v where v is the final velocity of the body v is the final velocity or velocity with which the body will be moving at the point a and length of the straight line c b is equal to a t c b is equal to a t length of the straight line c b is equal to a t number two case uh, the velocity of a body the velocity of a body or the equation of, of uh, velocity of a body moving with uniform acceleration moving with the uniform acceleration a uh, and starting its motion uh, from rest will be what when a body or alternatively uh, before that we can write when a body starting uh, starts its motion when a body starts its motion from rest when a body starts its motion from rest comma uh, the equation of velocity of the body the equation of velocity of the body moving with uniform acceleration or constant acceleration will be given by v uh, is equal to we know that v equal to u plus at as u equals 0 v equal at the, so the equation of velocity is v equal at and v to the power 1 proportional t to the power 1 therefore as v to the power 1 proportional t to the power 1 that's why you can say that vt graph will be vt graph will be an oblique straight line vt graph will be an oblique straight line a b vt graph will be a, a, an oblique straight line ob starting from starting from the origin starting from the point origin or from the point o as v proportional t to the power 1 and v equal a t and also at t equal 0 v equal 0 also at t equal 0 v equal 0 that's why vt graph will be an oblique straight line ob starting from the origin now here we can draw we can plot velocity axis along vertical direction time axis along horizontal direction and from the origin if we draw a an oblique straight line ob if we draw an oblique straight line OB, that oblique straight line OB will be the VT graph of a body starting its motion from rest and moving with the certain uh, constant acceleration. Number three case, number three case for a body, number three case for a body uh, moving with uniform velocity for a body moving with uniform velocity and zero acceleration velocity equation of velocity will be v equal only u as v equal u plus a t but a equal 0 that's why v equal u so here we get v as equal u for a body moving with uniform velocity and zero acceleration therefore vt graph therefore vt graph will be a straight line parallel to the positive time axis vt graph will be a straight line parallel to the time axis vt graph will be a straight line parallel to the time axis along vertical axis we can draw velocity that means v o is the origin along horizontal axis we can draw interval of time or time we can draw a straight line this is a straight line parallel to time axis a b is the straight line parallel to the time axis and the straight line a b parallel to the time axis is the vt graph of a body moving with uniform velocity the straight line AB is the velocity time graph of a body moving with the uniform velocity and that straight line AB is parallel to time axis. Number 4. 
फॉर ए बॉडी मूविंग विथ फॉर ए बॉडी मूविंग विथ कॉन्स्टेंट रिटार्डेशन फॉर ए बॉडी मूविंग विथ कॉन्स्टेंट रिटार्डेशन एक्सप्रेशन ऑफ वेलोसिटी विल बी वी इक्वल यू माइनस ए टी देयर फोर वी टी ग्राफ देयर फोर वी टी ग्राफ देयर फोर वी टी ग्राफ विल बी एन ऑब्लिक स्ट्रेट लाइन वी टी ग्राफ विल बी ऑल्सो एन ऑब्लिक स्ट्रेट लाइन वी कैन ड्रॉ वी टी ग्राफ फॉर दिस केस इन दिस केस दिस स्ट्रेट लाइन this straight line will be the velocity time graph for a body moving with constant retardation ab is the oblique straight line which is the velocity time graph of a body moving with the constant retardation at t equal 0 v equal u that means uh, in the graph oa is equal to u and the graph vt graph or the straight line ab will have downward curvature here we can draw the velocity time graph for a body moving with increasing acceleration and the body uh, will start from the origin the curve ob is the velocity time graph for a body moving with the increasing acceleration ob is the vt graph for a body moving with the increasing acceleration moving with the increasing acceleration vt graph velocity time graph will be a curve having positive sl slope vt graph will be a curve and that curve is ob in the diagram vt graph will be a curve having positive slope having positive slope at the point a on the graph ob we can draw a tangent that tangent makes an angle theta with the positive time axis and in this case slope of the graph is tan theta slope of the graph is tan theta and this angle theta is acute angle that means theta is less than 90 degree as theta less than 90 degree that's why tan theta is greater than 0 tan theta is greater than 0 that means the slope will be positive that means the graph will have positive slope and the curve ob the curve ob shown in the figure is a vt graph for a body moving with increasing acceleration similarly for a body moving with decreasing acceleration moving with decreasing acceleration moving with the decreasing acceleration velocity time graph that is vt graph will be a curve vt graph will be a curve having negative slope for a body moving with decreasing acceleration vt graph will be a curve having negative slope this is vt graph and here we can draw the velocity time graph this curve is the velocity time graph for a body moving with the decreasing acceleration ob is the curve ob is a curve which is the velocity time graph of a body moving with decreasing acceleration the curve ob is the vt graph the curve ob is the vt graph of a body moving with the decreasing acceleration we can we can denote two points on the vt graph we can denote two points on the pvt graph in the diagram ob is the vt graph and we can denote two points a and c a is at lower in uh, instant of time and c it will be at higher instant of time at a if we draw a tangent that tangent makes an angle theta 1 with the positive time axis and if we draw a perpendicular from a on time axis the, in that case at a t equal to t1 second similarly we can draw a tangent from the point c on the velocity time graph ct2 is the tangent at c and that tangent ct2 makes an angle theta 2 that tangent ct2 makes an angle theta 2 with the positive time axis and uh, if we draw a perpendicular from c on time axis in that case at c time t is equal to t2 second here t1 less than t2 but theta 1 greater than theta 2 though the instant of time at a is less than the instant of time at c but the angle at a 
is greater than the angle uh, subtended by the tangent at C. T2 is greater than T1, uh, T2 is greater than T1, but theta2 is less than theta1. Here theta2 is uh, less than theta1. This angle theta1 is greater than theta2. Theta2 is less than theta1. Here time increases, time increases from A to C, but angle decreases uh, at A to, uh, from A to C. Slope decreases. In this case, as angle decreases, that's why slope decreases and slope is equivalent to acceleration. That's why acceleration is also decreasing from the point A to C. For a body moving with for a body moving with infinite velocity, V is equal to infinity. V is equal to infinity. In that case, uh, we have to draw velocity time graph. Velocity axis and time axis are plotted along vertical and horizontal direction. And this straight line parallel to velocity axis is the VT graph for a body moving with in, in, in finite velocity. AB is a straight line. Uh, which is parallel to velocity axis for a body moving with the infinite velocity and the graph AB makes an angle theta equal 90 degree with the positive time axis. That's why the slope of VT graph, the slope of VT graph AB is given by M equal tan theta uh, which is equal to tan 90 degree is equal to infinity. That's why the slope of VT graph uh, is infinity m is equal infinity that means slope of vt graph is infinity again acceleration is equal is equal to the slope m that's why acceleration is also infinity therefore the body therefore the body moves with the infinite velocity moves with uh, the infinite velocity infinite velocity in this case vt graph velocity time graph will be parallel to the velocity axis in this case vt graph will be parallel to the velocity axis and perpendicular to the time axis perpendicular to the time axis